In this video, we'll cover the basics for setting up your first petition page in Action Kit. Pages are where your members take action. So you can have pages to sign a petition, write a letter to your legislator, call a target, donate to your organization, host or RSVP for an event, and more. Most pages follow the same basic flow. So this is similar to setting up other page types as well. First, select a page type to create. Then, fill in the title and name of the page. The title is the headline for the page, and the name is what appears in the URL. Next, add any internal notes or tags to the page. Tags are useful for segmentation, so you could add tags for things like issue area, audience, or any other attributes you will later want to assign to users who took action on this page. But remember, tags apply to everyone who takes action on a page. You can't use them to identify a subset, like only those who signed for a particular senator. But we can show you other ways to do that. Under Petition Options, add a target if the petition is going to be delivered using Action Kit. Your targets can be U.S. legislators at the federal and state level, or custom targets like CEOs, city councils, or governmental agencies. One-click signing is a feature where users who click on a link to this page from a mailing automatically get their signature recorded, so they skip the landing page and go straight to the After Action page. This boosts action rates, but make sure that your members know to expect this behavior when they click the mailing link. You can show a progress meter on the page by setting a goal. The goal can be the total action count, the distinct user count, or money raised. Custom page fields allow you to add a section of content or code to an individual page to do things like change the progress meter goal dynamically. Now, click Next to save and move to the next screen. On the Edit Content screen, you'll set the landing page template set, content, thank you text, and the input fields for your form. Template sets govern the look and feel of your page, Choose one that is appropriate for your campaign. The content fields displayed will vary based on the page type. For example, a survey page will ask you to define the survey questions in this section instead of your petition text. But thank you text is a required field for all pages. Under the user form field section, check the box to customize the fields that you want your members to fill in when they sign this particular petition. You can choose from standard name and address fields, custom user fields, or even add custom action fields equivalent to survey questions like, just how cute is the black-footed cat? On the third screen, set your after action information. By default, after signing users get directed to a page with the content you entered on the last screen. But you can customize that and even daisy chain on a donation page after signing the petition. Just paste in the URL of the page you want users to land on when they submit the form. Then set up your confirmation email with the subject line, sender, and body. You can use the snippets menu to personalize the confirmation mailing for each user. Or, if you choose not to send one, you can uncheck the box to turn it off. Customize your sharing options by clicking on the image, title, or description. And if you want to set up notifications, you can create triggers to send email when certain milestones or conditions are met, like every thousand signatures for this page, or for donation pages when donations over a certain amount are made. Now that you've set up your page, let's take a look. Save and click View on Site to see it in action. Proof your page and make any desired edits. Make sure you submit the form, review the confirmation email, and double check that the after action page settings are correct as well. Then, once you're satisfied, promote your campaign to your list by sending out a blast email. Check out our next video on making your first mailing to learn more.